In the industrial estate, the work is mainly for women. Most of the skilled men have to travel out for jobs, to Workington, for example. We seem to get so little in Maryport, and Workington gets so much. For instance, we would have liked Leyland's, but Workington got it. There are two housing estates. One's nicknamed Colditz, the other Bangladesh. Years ago, the life of Maryport centred round what was called, and is still called, Down Street, a great huddle of houses round the harbour. Houses and ships, chandlers, rope and sail makers and coopers, and a hundred other things centering round the sea. Oh, that was the greatest place in Maryport. That was a, that's a town of its own. It's a wee village, that. It was an honour to live down there. They were a class of people of their own, they definitely were. They were a breed of their own. All gone now, those houses, and in their place, a neat and numbered council estate. But Down Street is still remembered with love and affection. There were all manner of people walking up and down the roads because there were plenty of pubs in this area at the time. It would be, being a dock area. Mm. And they would uh, go from pub to pub and they were calling their own language to each other and you'd lie in bed of a night and listen to all these languages, you know, and think, Imagine all these sounds coming from other parts of the world. I wonder what it's like. The housing conditions were very, very bad. Inasmuch as that there was maybe a family brought up in one bedroom, you know. And everybody wore clogs. And like I say, if you were going anywhere special, you had to look around with somebody who took the same size shoes as you, so you could wear their shoes and they could borrow your clogs for the day. Yeah. That kind of poverty, but it was happy kind of times. Oh, nearly every family had TB, of course. My father died with TB. And I had a sister died with it uh, before I was born. They hadn't the resistance when they got older to illness. They starved themselves to feed us. Somebody would bring in a cabbage and somebody would bring in a sheep's head and somebody else would bring in a cow heel and somebody else some leeks. It was a massive big thing about this big and it was always on this hook. So if you boil potatoes or any veg or anything, the water was never thrown away. It always went into the stock pot. And the old wash houses that were at the bottoms of the yards of the houses, they were communal. 
and all this stuff was put into this big set pot, which is a boiler, and everybody would kind of dig in and start cutting all this stuff up. And they'd make a meal, they'd make a, a grand big set pot full of broth. That wonderful independent spirit that I'm afraid we've lost now.